Welcome Builders, Andy is Jody here. I'm so pumped for this new series. This is season two of Kingdoms, where I build a medieval kingdom, and this time it's gonna be on an island. So welcome to Minecraft Kingdoms. This island is custom made by me, and we're gonna be building a giant, I don't know, an empire, a kingdom, a medieval town. Starting off with some very, very simple wooden huts, basically five by five Minecraft Mojangy huts. And I want this whole build to look kind of medieval. I'll take some uh, inspiration from different eras as well, maybe the Roman era as well, but I want it to overall look like a Mojang build. As if Mojang villagers had just got tons and tons of time on their hand and some real skills and built up a giant kingdom. So this is a custom made island. You can see it's on various different levels. And hey, if you like this kind of thing, don't forget, hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. Bit of trees, different levels, bit of a kind of a stone bridge. What could be on that? Maybe a wizard's tower. I don't know. I need your ideas. Now, if you want to download this island blank, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Andy Azura and you can download the island before we even begin in Bedrock and in Java Edition. But just before we get building, 20 seconds of your time, that's all I need to tell you about Instant Gaming. These guys have teamed up with me and they're unbelievable. If you're on Steam, if you're on Xbox, if you want Xbox Live vouchers, if you want them cheap, look, 27% off Xbox Gold Live membership. If you're on PlayStation 4, Fortnite, 75% off, not played Fortnite, pfft. Get a discount, instant gaming, PlayStation Store vouchers as well, wallet top-ups. And if you're on Steam, if you're on Origin, you can get epic, epic games like Ark Survival Evolved of 81% off. Check them out, link in the down below. Okay, so this is our very first block on our new kingdom, <laughs> season two, so exciting. 11 blocks high, this is a watchtower. If you wanna follow along, actually, I fell down a hole there. Don't tell anyone that I fell down that hole. Um, I didn't see it, okay? Just don't don't let anyone else know. So, here we go, uh, 11 blocks high. Add these other uh, wooden logs at the bottom. 11 wooden logs high, and we're gonna add some little oak stairs. This is our very first five by five shape, and if you download this island, as it is now, you will get you will get this watchtower actually as part of the download. Bedrock edition, um, it's doable in uh, pocket edition as well. You can actually import it in pocket edition. One of my viewers did that. So it's doable. I don't know how to do it, but it's doable. I give you the file on my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Andy is your day. And you can download my previous kingdom as well, which looks like this. Not bad, huh? Thank you and big shout out to Badger93 for the beautiful render. Yeah, you could download that right now, my Patreon as well. Okay, so once you've added on some extra fences, as you can see in those positions, we're gonna add on a three by three shape of oak wood logs at the top and leaving a gap for the ladder, run around some la uh, upside down oak wood stairs at the top and then some additional fences around there like this. Now, this is incredible, look at this. When you close these trap doors, they join onto the fences. I can't believe it. It's unbelievable. Ah, oh, I've missed one out on that bottom right-hand corner, haven't I? But I'll go get that in at the end. It's great. I didn't know this was a thing. Who knew? Who knew this was a thing? Look, I'm adding on other ordinary wooden trap doors at the top here, and they're joining onto the fences. I love it. I absolutely love it. The fences are now pointing in all four directions to join onto all those closed trapdoors. Unbelievable. Anyway, add yourself on a little uh, run around the top of oak wood slabs and we're gonna form a little bit of a roof here with a simple slab pyramid. And this is the watchtower and I think this would be a great thing to build if you just landed on this island, chop down some trees, build a watchtower, watch out for the bad guys coming, add yourself a little bit of a flag and then you can go ahead and get on with some housing. So I haven't told you block for block how to build this, but hopefully it's kind of kind of straightforward and you could copy this and add this to your kingdom and maybe even want to build it on the island that I'm building this on as well. It's in a world as well. It's in a Minecraft 1.14 world. Okay, let's spin the camera around, grab those uh, last trapdoors and there we go. That is our watchtower. I added some trapdoors on the side as well for actually a little bit of decoration and it looks pretty cool. Okay, time for some housing. Again, gaps of three 
between those logs on the path and that keeps you in the five by five system everything is going every upright in the build every joiner upright is a gap of three away from the next upright that's basically the five by five system in a nutshell okay um so this is a little five by five newbie minecraft mojang house and we're going to try and make it look good i went a bit crazy with trapdoors obviously my last kingdom i was building in minecraft 1.12 now i'm in minecraft 1.14 and we've got all the trapdoors that were introduced in Minecraft 1.13, the aquatic updates. So I've gone absolutely crazy here, adding probably more trapdoors than is probably necessary on a build. Anyway, loving the lantern. I'm going to need your guys' ideas for this kingdom. What should be next? What should be on each level? We've got a lake as well. We've got sand. We've got beach. We've got docks. I want to start off small. So think about... You just land on an island, you're going to chop down some trees, you're going to build your first settlement. That's what we're starting with just now. We're not, we've not got any stone, no andesite, no granite, just wood to begin with. Um, a few plants, maybe a bit of a farm, some animals, a few little houses, and maybe some sort of community centre, community build, maybe a town hall. It's what we're going to end up with only in our first episodes. Anyway, three little houses. They're looking pretty mighty fine with the little lanterns. I don't think I added a bell in this episode. I think a bell would be a great idea. Maybe I should have put the bell on the watchtower. That's definitely something I'm going to be doing first thing in the next episode. If there's any nice 1.14 blocks that you think would look good in our starting kingdom, then let me know in the comments in the down below as well. If you'd like to see some <coughs> excuse me, extra pictures of this, and kind of behind the scenes stuff as well then do follow me on instagram because i'll be po uh, i'll be posting some behind the scenes stuff from this on instagram as well and you would just be uh, really helping me out by following me on instagram because as a as a creator as a creator having a big following on instagram is a real big bonus okay um so we've got some <laughs> We've got some chickens, we've got some sheeps, we've got a little bit of a farm going as well. And now we're going to move the camera around here and we're going to build um, a little cross-shaped house. And I did this in my last kingdom and I'm going to spruce it up and make it a bit more 1.14-ish. It's a little cross shape with the 5x5s. Five five. So the 5x5s five five are overlapping with a 5x5x5 five by five by five cube made of logs right in the middle. And as you can see, it's forming a nice cross shape like that. And then I'm going to use some stripped oak i used stripped oak in the little five by five houses as well i love these stripped oak it looks fantastic i love the lines in between them as well oh by the way i'm using steven's traditional 64 by 64 1.14 texture pack isn't it cool i love it if you've got an, another idea of a different texture pack which you think might look even better for this kingdom then do let me know in the, the comments down below um i'm using sandstone for the roof now there's a beach so i thought hmm maybe they could make some sandstone or find some sandstone in the initial um conquest <laughs> of this island so um it looked particularly nice in this texture pack i'm adding on some fences some gates and a little bit of a lantern lanterns as well and some fences and some paths i'm going to duplicate that all the way around and that's pretty much going to do it for this episode nice quick episode i want to keep these down to about 10 minutes each and i want to try and pump out two or three of these episodes per week i know in the last kingdom it was there were some big gaps but i'm not gonna lie <laughs> there were some big gaps between episodes i want to try and get as many of these out as possible this summer so you can really all enjoy it together and I can um, really put your ideas, I can instigate your ideas nice and quickly into the build without forgetting too many. So this could be, I don't know, a community center or the chief's house, but uh, there's some gorgeous wall blocks in Minecraft 1.14 as well. So I'm adding these beautiful sandstone walls and again, just a sandstone roof as well with some nice cut sandstone slabs and cut sandstone blocks on top and there we go isn't it cool i love this build so far very simple very mojangy but at the same time it is our creation it's our island let me know what you think hit that like button don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you very very shortly indeed with episode two there we go mighty fine take care for now ciao ciao with the blocks be with you